Today we're talking about Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage and Oathbreaker. And as always, if you like Oathbreaker, please like and subscribe. That helps out my channel a ton. Davriel costs 3 mana and starts at 3 loyalty. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage deals 2 damage to them. Minus 1, target player discards a card. And that is it. He doesn't have a plus, which is a downside. But that static ability can be really powerful. It basically is 8 rack in modern, but for Oathbreaker. I've built him in Brawl and an Oathbreaker, and I can say he's a lot of fun, at least for me to play. I don't know how fun he is to play against. Alright, let's look at some signature spell options. The Elder Spell costs 2 mana. Destroy any number of target Planeswalkers. Choose a Planeswalker you control. Put 2 loyalty counters on it for each Planeswalker destroyed this way. Obviously, that's not a synergy card, but because Davriel doesn't have a plus and he only starts at 3, this keeps him on the board longer. If you're not running it as a signature spell, I would at least run it as a card in the deck. Now let's look at some discard options. If you're going to be playing one-on-one, -on -one, and I will add that Davriel is better in one-on-one, -on -one, him to Turok is your best bet, I think. For Black Black, target player discards two cards at random. And discarding cards at random is so much better than letting them choose. But for multiplayer, we have a few good options too. Arterial Flow makes each opponent discard two. Vicious Rumors makes each opponent discard one and is super recastable. And Chain of Smog is really goofy. Target player discards two cards from their hand. That player may copy the spell and choose new targets for the copy. I would be really interested to see how this plays out. Obviously, if they choose to copy, they're going to be copying it on you and you're going to be discarding. But then you can copy it again and make somebody else discard or the same player you chose the first time. So how far around does this go? Uh, you could easily wind up discarding everybody's hand for two mana with this. But it depends on what your opponents choose and that's kind of a drawback. The most mana efficient discard spells uh, include you. You're gonna have to discard if you want to get discard for cheap. My favorite is Delirium Skeens. For 3 mana, each player discards 3 cards. That is a lot of discard for just 3 mana. Mind Rake for 3 mana, target player discards 2. But you can cast it for 2 mana to make each player discard 2 cards. Ill-Gotten Gains for 4. Each player discards their hand, then returns up to 3 cards from their graveyard to their hand. This one's pretty risky and high variance. Some games, you might just discard everybody's hand and that's it, they got nothing left. Other games, they might have some really good stuff in their graveyard to return. But you can build your deck in a way that you're likely to get one or two things back at least when you cast this, and that gives you a leg up. You can play fetch lands, low mana exile cards, other stuff like that that you can get back. Awaken the Erstwhile costs 5. Each player discards all the cards in their hand, then creates that many 2-2 black zombie creature tokens. I don't know if this one's good, giving them a whole bunch of tokens that can later attack Davriel. Not that great. But it does discard everybody's hand, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Dark Deal costs 3. Each player discards all the cards in their hand, then draws that many minus 1. This would be less good for a deck that focuses on Davriel's static ability, and more on other cards in the deck that say whenever an opponent discards a card, they lose some life or whatever. Siphon Mind for 4. Each opponent discards a card. You draw a card for each card discarded this way, so you're actually going up in cards with this one. That's pretty cool. Moving away from discard signature spells, we could run a Wrath, like Damnation, which destroys all creatures. Keeping the board clear will keep Davriel alive longer. A different direction you could take the deck is reanimation. You could use Davriel to discard a card yourself, some bomb creature, and reanimate it with uh, reanimate. Or any number of other reanimation spells would work too. Davriel is probably not the best choice for this. I would go with Liliana of the Veil vale if this was your strategy, but for a budget option, this will work too. If you're still trying to decide on a Planeswalker for Oathbreaker, you can check out one of my many other videos. I've got a ton of these, and I will see you there in the next one.